We are breaking down so much stuff. And you know what, Rob? This is a show about fashion. And I want to show you uh, what I've been rocking because, you know, I love social media. And when I love to get out on social media, I'm, I'm wearing your neck, put cool your iPhone on it. And you can become a guy with a camera on his chest. This here is a smartphone magnetic neck strap holder equipped with a strong magnetic ring that can securely hold your phone even with a case on. So whether you want to shoot vertically or horizontally, it's all possible. With the help of a stable aluminum alloy three axis support arm, you can easily view and adjust the position of your phone. It also features a widened neck loop made of flexible silicone material. So you won't feel tired even during long shooting sessions. Open up the motion mode on your iPhone and you'll be able to capture stable videos even with large movements. The included lanyard even prevents your phone from dropping. And with the help of this new accessory, you can conveniently switch to a sports camera as well. This is definitely the best accessory for POV and outdoor shooting. You can find it at the link below. Wow, I like AI voiceover and AI scripts. You what can I become love a guy, you can become a guy with a camera around his neck. You can be finally, finally. you can become a guy. <laughs> like, a like guy. no one has ever thought, oh, I wish I was a guy with a camera around my neck. By the way, that's a terrible angle. Just like shooting up your nose, like all just like just like, need my hands. I just need my hands in there. Hey, like, wow. I, is that is that a is that a video or a promo for people who do like Rubik's cube solves? Like, are those for cubers? You know, it's like that is that is one of my favorite things. Finally, you can become a guy with a camera around his neck. Finally, a guy with a camera around his dick. You'll I'm get always, the perspective that no one else could possibly have. A I'm camera. Telling my wife, I was like, I wish I could just get a camera around my neck. I would be so. I'd be. I want to be one of those guys. Finally, you can have a camera hanging out of your butthole. That's right. This camera is lightweight and it comes with a lanyard. So when you shit, that camera will stay perfectly in place. Get ready. You're going to get the best shit POVs anyone's ever had. Yeah. Um, hey, I may have to run okay. in about a minute because. Uh... That's it. You got to go back. You got to go back. I got to go back. I got to crack the, I got to, I got to crack the whip on my family, you know, cause they, after spring break, I feel like people really disrespected me in this family. I got to go back and just lay down the law and say, Hey, you know what family? I was in the garage for an hour and, uh, I'm back and I will I will not be fucked with. Uh, Don't lie, Rob. We all know that you're hosting OJ's wake. Who's in your house. Name the celebrity guest list. Uh, well, at OJ's funeral today, <clears throat> what we're going to do, well, I couldn't believe what they did. They did a, um, one of those Viking funerals where they just oh, yeah. build a big pyre, uh, you know, a big pile of wood. And they like, and they put him in a giant Hertz car, right? They put him in a Hertz rental car and then they just lit it on fire. And then they took out the insurance. So that will be fine. You know, what was crazy though, for real, someone, uh, I should have, I should have, uh, sent this to Molly, the Heisman like organization, the people that do the Heisman yeah. trophy legit put out like a very heartfelt like like you know a thoughts and prayers for like one of the like no NPR did too npr is like a legendary hall of famer oj simpson passes away from cancer at 76 i'm like i don't think the uh hall of famer is the the real thing that makes him a, a an interesting figure here i think that he's changed the media landscape for good whether or not you think he's innocent or guilty i wouldn't say that that's his defining characteristic anymore it's so bananas. I heard on CNN, they were interviewing the helicopter pilot that was like chasing the Bronco, which, you know, I, I don't know how they like had that guy ready to go. Like as soon as like, this is this morning on CNN. That's the people like, who have to like, they, like he was number 15 on the list. They're like, Cato, no. Yeah. Uh, Caitlyn Jenner, no. Chris no. Jenner, no. Like, uh, yeah. okay. It's like, I remember when, when uh, Phil Hartman was murdered. Yeah. Um, they went live on the scene and they didn't know who to go to. And all of a sudden, Steve Gutenberg popped in and he's like, yeah, I, I, I live across the street. Oh, and it's like, man. oh, I guess we're just going to interview Steve Gutenberg about this guy. It's the same thing like uh, when Bill Cosby's son uh, was killed uh, on the side of a road when he was changing a tire. Um, they went to Bill Cosby's apartment building. I always remember this on local ABC News. Um, they walked into the apartment building and it was the same apartment building that like um, Ashford and Simpson, this musical duo lived in. 
And they like got them kind of like going into their apartment. It's like, what do you think about this person who lived in your building who died? And it's like, ah, terrible. It's awful. Like it's like, Ashford and Simpson didn't did they sing reunited and it feels, feels so, so good. good I could be wrong about that um all right well, I, I gotta go good, good top but, uh, I'm so glad to see you Paul Great and uh I'm very excited about these improv shows we're doing we're gonna be the at the Largo on 420 in Los Angeles so 420 at the Largo uh sold out in uh Chicago my book tour is being announced soon but then we're gonna be in Seattle and Portland on May 31st and June 1st. Uh, you can get all this information and more at my website or howdidthisgetmade.com. Uh, and uh, you get ticket links right there. So go get tickets. Come see it. Come see us, you weirdos. All right. Great all right. to see you, buddy. Great to see you. I'm going to stick on I, for a second because I want to okay. see you. I got all these pickle people. Okay, um, great. Molly, I know we started off talking about the LeBrons. I'm still thinking about it. But was there anything else that I sent you, Molly, that that we didn't get into? And yes, I know that we're doing a 420 show at the Largo. It's not going to be a uh, getting high show. It's not going to be anything like that. Oh my gosh, we did run out of time for Who's the Boss. Uh, for those of you keeping track, I do. I I I boldly picked Banu, um, not Bono, but Banu as my Survivor winner for this season of Survivor. I was sadly mistaken. Sorry. Um, uh, so now I'm on TribalCouncil.com. And it's uh, anything can happen, especially after what happened last night. But I won't spoil that because I know many people haven't watched it. Um, what else do I want to say? Uh, people, you're going to be seeing a lot of me. I'm doing a lot of press uh, for the book, which comes out May 21st. You can pre-order it now. We're getting uh, all the postcards uh, out as we speak. I mailed out postcards in London. Uh, we're going to mail out some postcards for Ireland and also a bunch of postcards for Canada. We're just trying to find how to get Canadian stamps here in the states does anyone know um oh my gosh uh trader show i want to get into traders just for a second because i don't know who's watching traders phaedra didn't understand the game how dumb is phaedra she didn't get the game that she was on and in the reunion show she's pissed off that someone lied to her yeah that's the game and you were a trader but those housewives i love them greatly um, played traders so dumb. There are moments in the Traders season two American edition, uh, where a housewife would sit next to another housewife and be like, Now, don't lie to me. Are you a trader? And then the Phaedra, the trader, was like, I am not. And she's like, I asked her, she said no. I'm like, We're on a game show. The game show's premise is to lie. They didn't understand the assignment. So while I enjoyed season two, I need more game players on there. And you know what? Honestly, I like traders with civilians. That's why I love Australian traders, where you have a guy who just is an electrician and needs the cash. The same thing for the UK one. I mean, I don't know if they're celebrities. I don't think that they are. I know they probably all want to be social media celebrities. But, like, give me the magicians. Give me the person who wants to be the presenter. I want less famous people and more people willing to play the game. And I got to tell you, a little irritated about Survivor right now, too. I feel like these people are too nice. Q, you got it.